There's a lot of talk in the news and media about how the average support for a pensioner is $300.50 a week and New Start allowance $200 a week. What if I told you that you had to live on $10 a week? For a lot of people living in extreme poverty, that's just the case. And I've, I'm here in the lovely Queanbeyan Park to ask the local people about this particular issue. So, surprise twist, nobody really wants to talk to a strange man asking to take their video on. But, the main point is that countless people, about 53% of Australia's population, live below $2 a day. And that's what I'm doing for, from the 6th to the 10th. I'm going to be living on $2 a day. That's our food and water, while they have to pay for everything else under that amount. And I'm doing this to gain insight into extreme poverty and raise money to educate uh, people in that circumstance so we can break the cycle. Well, that was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? Guys, the Live Below the Line challenge is where I live on $2 a day for five days. It's so I can get some insight into extreme poverty and the countless people that live there live in that circumstance. So for two dollars I have to feed myself I have to feed myself and try not to go to the vending machine or random Macca's runs, just plain old staples for me. And I'm doing that for all the people that have to do that all the time for everything. Extreme poverty plagues so many people in our world and we're so fortunate here in Australia to have such a strong dollar and stuff. But guys, if you want to get involved, please go to livebelowtheline.com.au forward slash me forward slash Dylan Daddy link here and in my mattress. Um, I would also like you to donate because the, all the money goes towards educating children of countries that are plagued by extreme poverty to build seven, these seven to twelve and break the poverty cycle. Over the weekend though, I put this kind of cool, kind of broken-ish <laughs> collection tub in my work's tea room. And over the weekend I got $36.15, which is great, like really, really cool. But what is it? That's like you put it in the top and then it counts the money as it spirals down. And I think what drawed a lot of people to put in coins in there was not the charity itself, but the fun of watching it spiral around. It's like, um, do you guys remember those old donation coin things where you put a coin in and you watch it going around this big bucket thing? I used to call it the coin vortex. But... <laughs> I don't know. It used to be cool. Guys, if I... I'm sorry I'm talking kind of like I'm whispering. It's because this is um, 10.38 at night. I haven't really gotten into the swing of the schedule yet. Like, I plan it all. And then I'm like, eh, I can do it later. I do that with a lot of things. Like, every night I set two alarms. I set my normal alarm when I normally wake up, and I set one an hour earlier. What that one is, is me to go for a run. And it normally ends up a bit like this. Dylan, wake up. Mm. It's time to go for a run. <coughs> wake up, Dylan. Wake mm. up. And that's been going on for about a month. I still haven't been running. So guys, let me know, what would you do if you had to live on $2 a day? Would you be able to do it? Leave me a comment down below, or leave me a video response with your reply. Um, also, check out Live Below The Line a website, here again and down in the mattress, where even if you don't donate or get involved, at least check it out and see what these great people are doing and even share it because it's a great charity 
to help people all around the world. Like, share and favorite this video if you like it. And while you're there, subscribe. Take care and farewell.